So I have a pregnancy test. So I think it's too early, but Nikki's at work, my mom's out of town, and I've just been having symptoms like crazy. A lot of nausea, cramping, bloating. Last week I was so tired. I've been breaking out. I don't know why I'm off the medication that makes me break out. Um, I've been having vivid dreams like the last four nights and I don't know, something's just telling me to take a test, so. I'm a little nervous, but it's been negative so far, so you don't wanna like uh, get your hopes up. And I'm also like really critical of the symptoms that I've been feeling, I've been like discarding them as, you know, it's in your mind, it's in your head. Anyways, let's just do this. It may be too early to tell, but I don't know. I've just been feeling really weird and I'm usually really in tune with my body and what's going on, but like I said, this just feels a little off. Like I'm nervous, but I'm not nervous because I feel like it's just gonna be negative, like it's too early. But like every morning I wake up and my boobs are just hurting. They're so sore and my nipples too. And, but then like sometimes midday or even, I don't know, then it's just chill again. But I've also been like really sensitive to me. Like uh, one day for lunch, I had bratwurst and mac and cheese and just like, it wasn't even a brat though, it was like, the mustard was just, I thought it had gone bad and it didn't and it was, I almost threw up. And then um, I made lumpia and the smell of the pork just bothered me so much. And then um, made hamburger helper, just something quick and easy, you know, to get done and through and oh, that shit is so bad. I just. Today is Wednesday, March 23rd. It is like 1.15 in the afternoon. I've told like everyone. I told Mickey I just couldn't wait. I basically was like, I felt like crap waking up, which I did. I woke up, felt super, super nauseous. My boobs were hurting really bad. Looked on Flo, my app, my pregnancy app, and saw that a bunch of people were like testing during five, six, seven days DPO. And I'm eight, I'm eight days DPO, which is like dumb early. It is super early. And um, I was like, well, I'm feeling these things. It'll probably be negative, but let's try it anyways. Cause just something was like, I don't believe that every woman has like this intuition where they know that they're pregnant. Cause for me, everything was a hit and miss. I was like, oh, I'm emotional. Maybe it's my bipolar. Oh, I'm breaking out. Maybe it's cause I'm acne prone. Maybe, you know, I don't want to smell this meat. Cause I already don't like the smell of meat. Like I it's just, everything was a battle for my symptoms. Why is my hair crazy? I blow dried my hair. That's why it looks like this. But I don't know. Something was telling me just to do the test. Like do it. If it's negative, it's negative. Maybe it's too early, whatever, whatever. But now it's positive. So I told Mickey, we're gonna do a digital test when he gets home. And I told my mom and she's like, I wanna wait till it's more pronounced and you actually get a blood test and we'll see what that says. And then I told my friend Brie and she 
she made me cry. Like she was sobbing and she was like, oh my God, you're pregnant. And I know that it's, it's super faint. It's really hard to tell. The line's there though, it's pronounced, it's pink. I did have, it wasn't my first pee of the morning and I had a tea right before I took it, but I just, I'm at a loss for words. It's just like, I feel so normal right now, but it's really not normal because everything has changed, but it doesn't feel real. And I think that's why I'm just like this, where ordinarily I'd be sitting in a corner, just not coherent, but, um, I just wanted to tell you guys what today was and the time and oh, we could be parents. It's such a scary thought. We could be parents.